Hey guys, I'm Lisa and welcome to Yoga Today. So for today's practice, we are going to be doing some morning stretches. So you might find when you wake up in the morning, you're really tight, maybe kind of sore just from being in bed all night. So I want to give you a couple stretches that you can do and then you can just get on your way for the day and be feeling good. So you won't need any equipment today, maybe just a blanket if you'd like for your lower back. So let's come down to the mat. And extend your legs out to the bottom corners of your mat. Bring your arms to rest by your sides and turn your palms to face up. Close your eyes and we're just going to take about a minute here just to come into your space. To just breathe. And beginning to bring your attention to your breath. Just noticing the sound and the feeling of your breath. And then taking that deep breath in through the nose. And exhaling out through the nose. I'm just beginning to notice here the gentle rise and fall of your belly and your ribs. With every breath in and every breath out. Take one more round of breath. And then begin to just straighten out your fingers, wiggle your toes. And then bend your knees as you bring the soles of your feet to the mat. Take a moment here to take a breath. And then draw your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms, your hands around and rock side to side. So this is a great little stretch, little massage for the back. And just rocking side to side, just take your time. And then let's draw the right knee in. Extend your left leg to the top of your mat and flex both feet. So lots of times when we grab here with the hands, we create this tension through the back of the neck. So just be aware of that and try to consciously let your neck and your jaw relax. But then guide your knee in closer towards your chest and your shoulder. Close your eyes and release any tension from the face. Just notice if you're squinting your eyes and let that relax. And as you breathe in, just allowing your belly to puff up towards your thigh. And then let's bring the hands to the back of that right thigh and extend that leg up. So if this is too much here, you can always bend this other knee. So flex your foot. And then point your toes. And you're just gonna do that a few times. Flexing and pointing. Should feel really good stretching out the front and the back of that leg.
And then let's bend that knee and let's switch to the other side. So extending the right leg out, pull the left knee in, flex both feet. Release any tension through the neck, maybe even turning your head side to side here. And then see if you can draw that knee in a little bit closer towards your chest. Pull your toes back towards your shins and close your eyes. Release any tension through the arms and through the face. And let's bring the hands behind that left leg, left thigh, extend the leg up. Really flex here. So feel it stretch up the back of the leg, your hamstrings, your calves. And then point. And just go back and forth here, gently just stretching it out. and then bend that knee, bring that foot down to the mat. So coming into recline pigeon, this is one of my favorites for the hip, take your right ankle across onto your left thigh. And then take your right hand, you're gonna start at your hip crease and just slide that hand down. So you're gonna come right below or above, however you look at it, your knee. And just gently push that knee away from your body. So this just gives us, our arm just gives us a little bit more leverage to guide that knee away. Go ahead and take your hand off for just a second and I just want you to feel this, it's like a slingshot effect. As soon as you take your leg, your arm off, that knee pops back. So just push it away, relax into the stretch, take a breath. And then release your right hand down. Completely cross that right leg on top of the left. We're coming into reclined shoelace. So your feet come out to opposite sides. Lift your legs up. Flex your feet and grab wherever you can reach. So you might be up here right underneath of your knees. You might be down by your ankles. Whatever's fine. Pull your toes back. Feel that stretch on the hips and the outer thighs. So we carry a lot of stress and tension through the hips and you, it's not really a place that you would think you'd carry a lot of tension. So it's always one of my favorite places to stretch. So breathe in here, just allowing your belly to puff up again towards your thighs. And release your grip, draw your knees in, give yourself a hug. And let's switch to the other side. So bringing the right foot down, crossing the left knee, the left ankle across for a reclined pigeon. Take your left hand to that hip crease and slide it out here. Flex the top foot. See if you can breathe into that left hip. Left hip, left thigh. And release your hand here. Completely cross that left leg over and lift your feet. Grab where you can reach. Give yourself a little tug here. So pulling your, um, your ankles in towards your hips. You might notice a difference here side to side.
which is always interesting. I have people say a lot that they're really surprised when they're different on each side, but we're hardly ever, ever the same on both sides. Draw your toes back, push your heels away. And then release, draw your knees in, give yourself a hug. And then let's lift the head up, bringing your head towards your knees. Just give yourself a little squeeze here, just curling yourself into a tight little ball. And then lower your head down Place the soles of your feet back on the mat and let's take a twist. So bring your arms to goal post and lower your knees to the left. Turn your head away from your knees. And just allow your shoulders here to anchor you down. So if your knees aren't coming together, that's fine. Allow your belly to soften. And then bring that bottom thigh up to meet the top thigh. Squeeze your legs together as you come back up to center. And let's come over to the other side. So knees drop to the right, head turns to the left. Push your shoulders back. Just feel this opening here across your collarbone from shoulder to shoulder. Allow your belly to be soft, the sides of your waist to be soft. And then bring that bottom leg up, squeeze it into the top leg, come up to center. Extend your legs to the top of your mat and reach your arms behind your head. Point through your toes. And see if you can reach a little longer with the right toes and the right arm. Just keep reaching here, lengthening out through the entire body. And then draw the right side back in. See if you can reach a little longer with the left. Deepen your breath. And then draw the left side in and just reach equally through both legs, both arms. Take an inhale, lift your arms up overhead, and exhale, lower them by your sides. So we're gonna roll off to one side and use your hands to lift you up, coming to a comfortable seat. Root down through the sits bones. Take an inhale, lift up. Make that inhale last the whole time. And same for the exhale, exhale out. Inhale, lift. And exhale. One more time, big breath in here. Bring your palms together overhead and exhale. Thumbs come to the sternum. Tilt your head down towards your fingertips. And just feel the lengthening there through the back of the neck. I hope that you feel loosened up, ready to start your day and feeling good. Namaste.
Thank you for joining me for these morning stretches. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.